Mark here with Fast Gadgets and I'm going to talk again about Fedora 23. I know I had a previous video and I discussed why I prefer Fedora 23 over Mac OS X. Um, there's many reasons but this time what I want to talk to you about is some utilities that I think are useful uh, in enhancing and making the experience with Fedora 23 even better. Um, right now I'm running on the hardware platform instead of inside a virtual machine so I've got Fedora 23 set up as my daily driver on my uh, Lenovo uh, Yoga 2 Pro 13.3 inch <clears throat> it's got uh, 256 gigabyte SSD and 8 gigs of RAM and performance is really good it's the i7 unit and I have no complaints there one of the problems however is battery consumption so depending on what you're using Fedora for you may find that battery consumption uh, power consumption is not as good as it is in Windows so there's a couple of remedies you can do so the first utility I'm going to talk about is TLP and it's actually very easy to install um, if you well you would be on the Linux uh, repository Fedora 23 repository so all you need to do uh, is DNF which is basically yum it's the newer version of yum install TLP now I already have TLP installed and I don't believe there's an update but we can check nope no update so once installed TLP automatically runs um, you can of course check the status of the service and see if it's running uh, TLP itself provides a huge amount of information about the status and what it's doing so all that information it's providing basically it gives you information about um, how it saves power whether or not it's enabled what the current power source is um, all the different settings uh, basically with TLP enabled I would say I've doubled my battery life um, now right now I'm doing a video capture I've got the webcam going I've got USB devices plugged in I'm running from battery so I can show you what these tools are capable of doing and it's telling me about an hour and 33 minutes um, but what if I wanted to know uh, what exactly is eating up all the power well um, what I can do is run a tool called PowerTop and in order to install that I ran DNF install PowerTop and now if I run PowerTop so I've launched PowerTop and this is a huge amount of power I'm consuming right now normally uh, when I'm just doing the basics so if I'm doing internet uh, web browsing even a little bit of video watching my discharge rate is much lower But right now because I'm doing the capture it's higher so it's showing hey the CPU is 94.6 percent in use um, here is the main uh, offender and consumer of power and then it goes down the list uh, you can press the tab key and it gives you other information idle statistics frequency statistics uh, device stats and some tunables <clears throat> so because I'm running TLP uh, the majority of the tunables are considered good because right now 
TLP has uh, configured all of these different elements <clears throat> so that the unit, the laptop is running and conserving as much power as possible. If I want to exit out of PowerTop, all I have to do is press the escape key and it exits out. There's another tool that I use, and this one is not power related. This tool actually is really useful for monitoring uh, the sensors inside your particular device, in this case, my Lenovo. So if I run, I'm going to use the watch command, <clears throat> and I'm going to run sensors. I can actually get a display of the current processor temperature and using watch it'll repeat every two seconds and this will let me know what the temperature is of my device and each of the cores specifically so it depends what sensors are available and the package that I installed in order to be able to do this was the LM underscore sensors package uh, so I did a DNF install uh, LM underscore sensors to install that once you've installed that you want the uh, sensors program to go through and detect all the different sensors that you have available on your system and then after that when you run sensors you get accurate feedback on all the different devices all right uh, another very useful tool that I, I installed now I'm a little surprised that it isn't installed by default on Fedora but then again um, <clears throat> The beauty of Linux is that it's relatively streamlined. So <clears throat> we say that uh, we would like everything to be installed and running, but then it would make the system uh, more bloated. But anyway, I installed the uh, Fuse EX Fat support. And what that allows me to do is utilize my USB drives on all three systems without having, having to buy any licensing or anything like that for uh, special NTFS drivers for Mac or uh, doing any special configuration because um, the EXFAT format type is supported by Linux so here I have um, some videos and things like that on a USB thumb drive that I have. It's supported by Linux, it's supported by Mac, and it's supported by Windows. So I can actually take this thumb drive and move it back and forth um, and be able to get access to all my content. So that's a useful tool for me. So I've installed that and the last tool that I wanted to talk about that I actually do like quite a bit uh, is called Fetty and Fetty has a huge amount of tweaks in it that I found really helpful um, it's it's kinda like a one-stop shopping where you can do Google Chrome install um, I wanted to be able to play back DVDs uh, if you want a BitTorrent tool you can install that. There are some additional themes you can install. The one I'm using right now is the Evil Pop theme. Um, kind of reminds me of Mac but uh, there are a couple others that you can choose from. And there's some tweaks as well. One is better font rendering. Um, it can clean up some junk files on your system which you can run as much as you need. It has the improved disk I.O. scheduler so um, it's supposed to boost the performance of SSDs 
Uh, I can't say whether or not I really noticed any performance improvement. Everything seems to be fine as it is. Um, you can configure the scripts and update the configuration file for Grub2, which is made easier here. Of course, it's simple to use a command line to change SE Linux to permissive mode, but again, it's, it's just kind of all in one place, so it makes it just an easier place to find all the different tweaks. So those are the five tools that I use, uh, utilities that help me uh, make my Fedora 23 install a better experience. I hope this helped out. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again.